That's it, buddy. <laughs> this right here is what I've wanted from Exanima for the longest time. Because what's more fun than taking a completely physics-based dungeon crawler such as Exanima and adding on force magic to send your enemies ragdolling across the room? Anyways, if you guys didn't know, the game got a brand new update that adds in just that. On top of that, there are new rooms and a new dungeon floor. So today, I thought I'd revisit this fantastic game to make Strong Wizard, a force mage who should hopefully dominate the dungeons with his magical power, becoming the strongest warrior mage to ever live. You know, I don't think the world is ready for strong wizard. Anyways, welcome back everyone to Exanima. And I gotta say, I've never been more excited to play this game. As today, we are no longer just an extremely strong person. Anyways, this is Strong Wizard. A person who can 1. Bash in the head of people, and 2. Use magic to do his bidding. Oh, it's so cool. It's so cool. So, we have started in the first level of the dungeon, and my goal is to reach some new areas as well, learning new spells and other bits and baubles along the way, as we have an entire school of magic to learn. And the only way to actually learn said magic is to get XP. And in order to get XP, we need to kill. So, first things first, let's find ourselves a weapon, and we can venture out into the dungeons. And I think this random piece of wooden debris will be a perfect weapon. And also, you don't really need a good weapon when you can just push someone on the ground with mind magic and then just, you know, bash their brains in when they're on the floor. But yeah, welcome to the dungeons. It's dark, it's scary, and it's filled with monsters. But I think we're gonna do just fine. And right now, my main goal is to obviously escape the dungeon, but another small little side feature I do want to hit is finding a nice wizard hat for Force Wizard. And in order to do that, we just need to enter rooms, saying hello to the occupants, pushing them over with my Force Magic, and giving them traumatic brain injury. <laughs> It's so cool! You know what else is cool? Not even relying on magic and just smacking him really hard in the head. And then finishing him off with a nice bit of force magic. Oh, get the hell out of here. That's one victim for a strong wizard. And it's one of many. I'm gonna take your hatchet, I'm gonna loot your chest, and we are gonna continue right on through, taking some nice boots. Oh, it's so fun, and it's so unfair for these zombies. They don't even stand a damn chance, do they? <laughs> thanks for the tunic, and thanks for the XP. But yeah, if you guys didn't know, I'm pretty well versed in Exanima, so this first level is going to be no problem for me at all. And the best way I would describe my skill gap with this game is like if a fully grown adult played tackle football with a bunch of toddlers. So really, all this magic does is give me another way to torture these poor, poor peasants. But as we go deeper into the dungeons, the enemy types will change as well. Anyways, hello ma'am, I'm just gonna, just gonna push you over real quick and I'm gonna slice your head in half. You know, I really do feel bad for these idiots. They stumble over buckets, they just swing randomly, and if I could just push this spike pit into her, that's extremely sad. <laughs> How about I do it again? You know, really push it home. And maybe one more time. Oh. Oh, poor lady. She just can't catch a break. Alright, let me finish you off. I, I don't want you to suffer anymore. But yeah, welcome to Exanima. And if you look at the bottom of my bar, you can see we do have a magic bar, so I do need to be pretty cautious about where I spend my magic. At least in the later dungeons, when I stop coming across, you know, dumb, stupid, idiot peasants, and I start to fight actual demons that are three times my size. So really, this first level is going to be me getting as much XP as possible to further progress my skills, and two, getting even more equipment to make me, you know, less squishy and less prone to sudden death. Right now, we're learning Torrent for our magic skills. 
and coherence for our mind. I'm also not going to be putting much skill points into close combat or armor because I want to be a very squishy wizard that can also, you know, bust in someone's head with a comically large mallet. Anyways, uh, the dungeons are gonna be pretty much the same, so I'm gonna go look around the area and find whatever I need to survive. Preferably, that would involve me finding a very nice hammer. Oh, hello there, sir. Goodbye. See you later. <laughs> and sayonara. Oh, he's actually still alive. Okay, I do need to be cautious about the combat because I don't have any armor, and all it would take is one bad hit for me to just die horribly. Especially when the zombies have bladed weapons like this handsaw. We can take permanent damage, and there is permadeath after a certain point in the dungeon. So I can't get too cocky, as, as funny as things are. Anyways, do you have anything inside here, sir? Absolutely nothing. Okay, well, I guess I'll continue kill some more idiots, and if we find anything cool, I will let you know. For now, it's just gonna be a bunch of dungeon crawling. With a little bit of murder here, and a little bit of murder there. And on top of that, some new exploration. As with the new update, the devs also revamped a lot of the areas, as this entire forge room definitely wasn't here before. And this forge room is going to be my best friend, because it has one of my favorite weapons. It's, uh, it's a big jump up from a hatchet. It's just a cage bar, quite literally a big, obtuse, heavy metal bar. This bad boy packs so much blunt force trauma in it, you will be amazed. God should have never given me these powers because I am just going to abuse them. Thank you very much for the shirt though, sir. I appreciate it. And it still gives me the drip of having my massive muscular arms out. So anyways, where's my next victim? Oh, right here. That guy has some gambeson and an axe, and this guy will end a lot of early game players' uh, playthroughs. So what I'm gonna do is absolutely psychologically torture this poor schmuck here, because I found a pretty cool room that was added in within this update. Anyways, I'm gonna aggro his attention, and I'm gonna run away, tactically retreating all the way towards this small room here. And if you look, the main defining feature, he just tripped on some random debris, but the main defining feature of this room is this staircase here. And I really, really, really want to set this guy up on top and force push him off. So I'm gonna try to do just that. Also, if I forgot to mention, they also added in fall damage. So in theory, I should be able to kill this idiot by force pushing him off a set of stairs. If he approaches, come on. It's just a set of stairs. Don't be scared, little guy. Yeah, that's it. Right into the hornet's nest. He's already throwing himself off the stairs. This is gonna be hilarious. Oh, this is this is so good. I love this. I am a big fan. I'll let him... Nope, he's running away. He's scared. <laughs> Alrighty. One smack to the head should be enough. Yep, that would do it. Thank you for the gambeson, thank you for the gloves, and thank you for the pants. The axe, I'm not really much of a fan of because we don't have a way of seeing in the dark. So yeah, we're gonna keep the torch out, we're gonna enter this room here, and we're gonna grab the keys that will allow me to progress a little bit further into the game. Now that we got the keys, all I need to do is loot, kill, and get the hell out of here. We could also pay a nice little visit towards a friend, but we'll get to that when I'm actually there. For now, we just... Oh man, I, I don't even need the magic. The magic is just a nice additive. I... I am amazed at strong wizard's power. Actually, I'm not really amazed at the same time. Because at the end of the day, we do got a six pack. <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh man, I missed this game. Also, because I do know a little bit of secrets here and there, if we grab this key under this table and use it to unlock this cell right here, we can get our hands on a pretty late game chest pretty early on. It's right next to this dead lady here. What do we got? We have shoulder pauldrons. You know what? That's actually really nice. Okay. Well, now that we've looted everything, we can finally meet our new best friend. Hello, buddy. Are you in there? <sighs> Hello? Oh, Darren, you poor, poor thing. I don't really need his help anymore now that I have the power of magic, but we'll talk to him and let him, you know, accompany us and we can keep him safe and sound. You don't really need to fight, Darren. I am going to cover your back. And by cover your back, I mean I'm gonna leave him at the start of the level, and we're just gonna clear out the entire area, and then carry him through like an escort mission. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Maybe I will have a use for you later, but when I get better armor for you. For now, I'm gonna have you wait for me here, and we're gonna go clear out this small little side area that just has enemies and other, I guess, chests inside. It's not really needed, but it is gonna be extremely nice, because I want to level up my torrent skill. And judging from the almost filled in picture frame, we almost have a new ability, which will allow me to unleash a sustained stream of force in front of me, which sounds extremely fun. And hopefully killing all these idiots in here will give me that ability. All right, come on, chuckle nuts, where the hell are you? Oh, I see one idiot right here. It'd be a real shame if I just pushed you right in that wagon. Oh, he's moving. Yeah, that also works. Anyways, where are your friends at? Oh, there's actually a broken disc here. That looks kind of important. I'll take that along with me. On top of that, we also have a chest with another piece. I think that's the full piece. I don't know where I'd put that in, and this is definitely a new area, so we might be able to accomplish a puzzle in this area as well. I guess I'll keep my eyes out for one, though I am more focused on getting more kills. Damn, this is actually all new. This is pretty cool. Anyways, hello, sir. But hey, with that little bit of blunt force trauma, we were able to level up our actual skills. And I think we're going to get Convergence, which allows me to focus an effect to a more specific or narrow target. It's going to take a little bit to get there, but with more kills, we will unlock it very slowly. Oh, cool. These are also like little dog kennels. I feel bad for the dogs, but we might find something useful around here. Like another chest, which has a singular tunic. Well, it's not better than the one that I had. I'm sure we'll have better luck in the other areas. And by better luck, I meant just finding toilets and empty cells. Well, I guess third time's the charm. Let's see what's inside here. Another zombie with a nice bill hook. Could I push you inside that fountain over there? I'm gonna try to pull this off. We have a bunch of mana right now, and I really want to see if I can just, you know, push his body into some type of, like, reservoir. Come on. Oh, he's just getting caught up on the chains right now. <laughs> Don't worry, sir, just a few more jumps like this and we'll have you inside that bucket. That, or I'm going to kill you with just the force of all of these blasts. Okay, they're not really working anymore, and I am out of mana. Well, that's when the metal pipe comes into use. Now the question is, was he hiding anything in here? Uh, actually not, this was just a washroom. Come on, idiot, let's keep her moving. All for a total of three steps, because this is the new area. All right, Darren, just wait for me here. A strong wizard has a little bit of work to do. This should open me up to a nice little game area, but because they changed up the map, your guess is as good as mine. Okay, never mind. They definitely kept it. And I do want to know if I can push tables with my ability. I can. I just need a little bit stronger of a spell. But dang, they really updated this place. We'll, we'll keep an eye out for any enemies and loot accordingly. Come on, big money, big money. No, there's just plates in there. 
and a chest in here with a couple of bill hooks. But more importantly, there's a male vest in here, which is fantastic armor, which is gonna protect me majorly against any slashing attacks, which is fantastic. In here, we got like a small classroom with a small hidden chest there. Don't think I don't see you. Okay, there's just a junk inside. But in here, we have a zombie. All right, sir, move out of the way. Oh, okay. It does look like I need to aim the four spells accordingly with my cursor in order to get the most amount of damage from it. Holy crap, I just almost sent him under the table. Oh, are you okay, sir? I don't think he is. Oh, he's struggling to get up. He's stuck under the... Oh, maybe I should just put him out. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Oh, yeah, he's back. Back down in the dirt is what I meant to say. And look at that. He was holding a nice cuirass in the chest. Okay, cool. We got more armor. We got a lot more confidence. And we are making progress. I'm going to go move up ahead. And maybe we'll find something else that's new. Nope, just more zombies. Damn, I hit him so hard he's still kind of twitching. With our last victim, we have also made it to a new checkpoint. The small little, I guess it, it, it just is a checkpoint, right? With a massive flame trap in the middle, but with other levers that should be able to pop open the gates. There we are. Now that we got him open, we can go grab our nice little friend and move on ahead. I also spy with my little eye a couple of van braces, which gives me a tiny amount of armor. It is encumbering me, so it is making me slower, but you know, when you can push someone like four feet out of the way, I don't think we need to worry too much about that. And you know what? I'm feeling kind of silly. Give me this sledgehammer, sir. There are some areas that are actually pretty lit in this area. So if I do find a zombie in a lit area, I really want to hit them with the force push blast and then the head slammer smash. Not the hedge slammer, the sledgehammer smash. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's go grab Darren. Anyways, come on. Let's, let's keep her moving, buddy. That... that was Marlia! What are you talking about, Darren? I, I was just about to lock you in. That dead one, I knew her. It was Marlia. For a moment, I thought she recognized me too. Oh, you're talking about this schmuck over here, this idiot, this bozo that I smashed in the head with a metal pipe about going about 90 miles per hour? You better toughen up and ignore it. Might not be the last one you recognize. God's below. I guess you're right. I thought I knew some others, but with her, I was sure. I'm just gonna leave you to it. You know, you can really just stay in your friend's death. I am going to continue. Locking the door behind me so no random zombie comes in and hits you with the Julius Caesar special. All right, new area, new victims. Also, new stuff as well. There seems to be a couple of massive pits in the floor and a small puzzle leading over here. Because you have two bottomless pits to hell, and a small half-open door. I do wonder if anything is on the other side that I might be able to grab. Oh yeah, there's a chest right there! Okay. How do I access this area without dying? Now, the way that I'm thinking right now is we could pick up some of these boards and place them across to maybe get my way on through. That comes with its own risks, though. It's a little bit scary. I'll be honest, but we might be able to pull something off. Oh, this is kind of terrifying. Well, I guess we can try by placing planks over that way. And if all else fails, we'll have a massive pit to throw zombies in with my force powers. Okay, let's just make sure we don't trip, fall and die, and we'll see if I can craft up a decent bridge over using these planks right here. Oh, hello there, sir. Uh, how long have you been here? Hey, uh, could you actually follow me really quick? 
<laughs> yes, right on over here as I move all of these planks off this very precarious pit in the ground. That's it. Just a little bit more, buddy. Just a little bit more. That's it, buddy. <laughs> oh, I love this game! That's one way to deal with an enemy. I'm probably not gonna do that too often because I don't get the XP for it, but that was- that was hilarious. Alright, how's my bridge looking? Okay, let's not trip in the same way he did, because that would be a very funny way to end the series. Alright, that looks pretty safe. Now we can go and grab the other pieces we need. Oh, this is a little bit scary. But all we need now are some planks and a couple of stretchers down over there. And I think we're going to stack them horizontally for the best uh, structure, right? I really want to make sure I don't fall through the cracks here and die. So it's going to be a long haul, but it should be worth the effort. Yeah, that looks stable enough to me. I didn't really build them horizontally because the trajectory did not help out at all with it. But boom, we made it over to the chest with nothing inside. I think I did this for nothing. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Well, I guess we, uh... Oh, okay, here we are. We got a bit of parchment, a nice tunic, and absolute junk otherwise. We can read out this bit of lore, but it does show you that... But at least this bridge shows you that puzzles are extremely cool with this game. Sal. I will, though, hurry back. He went to Fabon at inspection, causing him to cry out. No harm was done but to his pride. His high-pitched view drew much laughter. He's declared him unfit for duty, and by the way he talks, we fear he may have more permanent plans. Well, at least we saw what was on the other side instead of just giving up. Anyways, I think I'm going to end the first episode here. I really want to do a full run-through of the dungeon, or at least as far as I can go without dying horribly. I think this new Magic Edition is extremely cool, and I can't wait to unlock other spells. Anyways, this is going to be Strong Wizard's End for now. I'm going to make this a series. I know I said I was going to do CDDA, but this update is a lot cooler and I'll do that later. Anyways, if you guys have liked this episode, be sure to like, favorite, share, and subscribe for more as I delve my way deeper into the dungeons. Peace the hell out, everyone.